Hi again, me Kathy. Uh, today I'm going to do, I guess a DIY on something else to do with a bangle. I kind of got the idea from Joan and Lori, who are both subscribers, and um, they said make a Christmas ornament with them. And when I was a kid, around Christmas time, my mother would let me stay home from school and her and I would work on Christmas gifts together, making boxes and wreaths and fun stuff. So today I'm just going to show you what to do with some items, extremely cheap, and then I'm going to go one step further and make it ex make it uh, a trash to treasure type of thing. Uh, first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the ribbon. I got this, let's see if you can see this, I got this ribbon at the dollar store, 50 cents, it was on sale, uh, five feet of it. I had bought one roll, and it was a white roll, and um, I thought five feet would be enough to cover a bracelet, but I got halfway done, and then I had no idea what to do, because I didn't really want to go back out. Um, I don't like going out anywhere, but uh, I did show you what I did make. What I'm going to show you today is how to make this. This was out of ribbon, glitter, and glue. And that's basically all you need. And it's adorable. It's Look at that. It's, it's so pretty. And it's a Christmas ornament. You can hang on your tree. You could put jewelry here. Um, you could put a locket if you wanted in there. Uh, it's just beautiful. So, what you're going to do is with the ribbon. I'm going to show you to do one with something different. Uh, cut off a section. I work by sections. So I have a piece this big. It's got, it's got glitter on it. I'm still selling them right now at the dollar store. So, And I'm making these gifts for next year. So then that way I don't have to worry about anything. It's a keepsake. I'm going to get a locket. Cut it in half, like I just did, lengthwise, so that you have two of these. And then I'm going to double up on them, like this. And then I'm going to fold it in half, because it'll be easy to cut. And so you have two of them together, you have two of these together, fold it in half. Let's see if I can get that light a little bit better. There we go. And just cut about one inch strips. You should get two strips. And they don't have to be actually one inch. It can be half inch, but I do about an inch. Just enough to... And then I just keep cutting off a piece and cutting it and cutting off a piece until I have a whole section of ribbon. All cut up. Okay, so I've got some here. Uh, I'll use the black one. So this is a regular bangle. And you're going to want to lay something down because glitter gets everywhere. So give it a little bit of a, a stretch. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing. And tie it in half. Just so you've got that. And then you do another one. And you tie, push it together. And that's what the two looks like. And then you grab another one. Now it would take me for a long time. I think it took me, it takes me about 40 minutes to just complete it. So you're going to keep doing that and it's going to come all the way around and then once you get to probably in about say here maybe uh, let's say about an inch and I got an inch left start pushing you know start pushing them this way and back so that you can just make it as tight as possible because eventually you're going to get to a point where you have a quarter of an inch and when you start tying, you're going to start tying them all together and it's going to just um, frustrate you. So as long as you've got it tight, really tight, stop at about a quarter of an inch and then spread it all out. Spread it back until it looks like this. I have one already made. 
So let's just stick these aside, pretend I did it. I took about 40 minutes. So this is with a bangle. It's really pretty. Um, and I left that quarter of an inch and then I just started pulling it so that it was just all nice, all the way around, nice and tight. It, here comes the messy part. Okay, so I got a plate of Elma's glue. And I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do gold for this one. So you're going to need, let me move this out of the way. So you're going to need a piece of wax paper, which is right here. So you're going to need a piece, uh, you can't see the wax paper. The wax paper. And you're going to set it on the wax paper when you're done. All right, so you're going to do this in two steps. Because if you put it down on the paper with glue on each, si each side, what's going to happen is it's going to mat the other side. So you're going to do a round in one side, flip it on the dry side, let it sit on the paper, on the wax paper, until it dries, and then the next day, glitter the other side. So how I glitter it, I want to make sure I'm in frame. Okay. I have the hardest time getting things in frame. There we go, right there. So I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to roll it. Just roll it all the way around. Make sure you get glue everywhere. Just have fun with it. And you are going to get dirty. And then you want to take one side and just dip it in the glue. Let me wipe my hands off. And I need this box. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside while it's sitting in the glue. And I'm going to take my glitter right here. And I'm going to spread a line, just a line, because whatever you don't use, you can always put back in, in the jar. And this glitter, you probably use about half of it, so 50 cents worth of glitter. All right, so I've got my glue spread nicely around. I just rolled it. And you're going to do the same thing here. You're just going to roll it across the glitter like a tire. Roll and keep rolling it across the glitter. And once you get it all the way around and it looks good to you, see how nice that looks? Uh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? You're gonna shake up your glitter box and now try to just get get all your glitter in one spot. There we go. See how I have that? And now the side that I glued earlier. I'm just going to dip it in there. And look at that. Let's see. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's so shimmery. So I'm going to let this, I don't want glitter on everything because I want the red to show through. So what I'm going to do is this side has no glue right here. So I'm going to lay it on wax paper for tomorrow and finish up that. All right. So there's my glitter. Now, remember when I told you that I got halfway done and realized I needed 10 feet of ribbon and not 5 feet of ribbon? Well, I don't really like to go places by myself. There's like two places I can actually go. That's church and then on Tuesdays it's a church thing. So, and that's two miles down the road. Um, if I have to go to Walmart, or, which I really don't like to do, but if I have to go, I have to go with someone. I, I can't be out alone. I shouldn't say I can't. That's a bad word. I won't for now. Um, things will get better, and eventually I will. All right, so what happened was I ran out of, I ran out of ribbon, and I really didn't know what to do, and I thought, well, maybe I've got ribbon downstairs. So I ran downstairs. And I didn't have any ribbon at all that matched. So I accidentally stepped on a dryer sheet, which is going to be thrown away. So I consider a dryer sheet is free. So I can make one of these, just like I made with that ribbon, which cost a dollar. And the glue, I don't know, maybe, what, 20 cents of glue and 25 cents worth of glitter. So $1.70 to make 
just one little wreath. So with with the dry sheet, for the heck of it, I just wanted to see what happened. So I was going to make it the dry sheets red and then do like a candy cane with ribbon, dry sheet, ribbon, dry sheet. Um, and what I just cut this down the middle. And what happened was it looked like I cleaned up a, a, a crime scene. So <laughs> instead, I just did it all white and um, I made this, if you can see. And this is very similar to to this with the ribbon and of course the one with the ribbon looks more pristine but this is just a dry sheet you were going to throw away and I love trash to treasure I really do um, so my mistakes I made on this one and that's why I say let one side dry was I put glue on this side flipped it over put glue on this side ran it through the glitter and laid it on the wax paper and what happened was it matted so this time I'm just going to do glitter around like I did that all around, roll it through the glue, and then I'm going to do the glitter on one side and then let it dry. And then tomorrow I'll do the next side. And then when it's all dry, I'm going to take some Mod Podge. You, if you don't have Mod Podge, you can use almonds glue with a little bit of water and just cover all the spots that you glittered. So that way... If you give these away as a gift, there's not going to be a pile of glitter underneath the Christmas tree because uh, they won't like you if you do that. All right, so I cut these in half, and I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the ribbon. I'm going to I'm going to line it up, and again, one inch to one and a half inch, it really doesn't matter. And I'm going to fold it in half again, and I'm going to fold this one one more time just because it'll be easy to cut, so it looks like that. So, one, two, three. And that should be enough just to show you. So, same thing. You're going to just tie it on. These are a little harder to tie. But you can pull tight if you if you grab at the base and just give it a tug. You can get that nice you can get that nice and tight. And then you just continue all the way around until you get to that quarter of an inch where you're getting frustrated and every time every time you try to tie it, you're tying another piece into it. But keep it tight. Every time you tie one, push it tight. Keep pushing them tight together so that that quarter inch won't matter once you spread it all back out when you're done it's still going to be full so you're going to keep tying them like this all the way around until you get this right here this isn't that neat that's just a something you're going to throw in the trash and it smells really nice so i'm going to do blue on this one because i still got some more blue glitter so again, you're gonna do you're gonna do a line, a line of glitter. And set that aside because I want to show you what I'm doing. And you're gonna just like just like you did with the with the other one, you're gonna just roll it around in the glue. Make sure you get glue on all of them, but just the tops. You don't want to smush it. You just want to roll it. I love glue. Glue's my glue is my favorite thing to work with as adhesives. Um, Elmer's glue is great when you don't have Mod Podge. It gives it that matte finish. Uh, treat it like Mod Podge. You just water it down. All right. So I think. I think that's good. Now I'm going to lay it down on in here. And again, don't mush it. Just get it around. See what's happening right here? Um, it's starting to... That's the only problem with this. But it'll be laying down. If you Now if you hung it, these things would just start to droop. And you don't want that. Alright, so move the glue. Glitter time. Roll it into the glitter. I 
It's so pretty. I really think I like the blue and white the best. I went back, I did go back to the dollar store and I bought them all out. So I have 19 rolls of ribbon, which is eight of the wreaths I can make. And we do a lot of laundry, so we never have to worry. So now spread that out. Take the glue side down and just pick up as much glitter as you want. Okay. And look at that. And this is with just a dry, these are just dryer sheets. These, anything you're going to throw away in the trash, I call free. It's free. I don't dig through the trash. I just don't let it go to the trash. Um, so this whole thing, you figure, the you can get 10 of these little bracelets at, um, we have a place here called Martin's, as a, like a discount store. You can get 10 of those for a dollar, so that's a dime. Dry sheets free. The glitter, uh, you get 12 in a pack for $8.99, so we'll say $9. I think it's like, hmm probably 75 cents per bottle of glitter and you use about a third of the glitter so so that's not bad so you figure this whole thing cost you 25 30 cents to make um the glue i really don't count because i bought a gallon of glue so and i don't really use a lot so 30 cents to make and when you're done you can um add a necklace to it uh, anything you want i was thinking of hanging right right in here i was thinking of hanging a um a locket so i could put a picture in it of my granddaughter and i and then that way she'll always have a keepsake from nona and so i'm going to lay that down let that dry and then tomorrow i'm going to flip it over and do the other side but just let it dry all right let me wash my hands because it's a mess all right get rid of all this stuff here I have another thing I want to show you that I made um, out of a trash to treasure thing, which is really fun. My mother and I used to make these, and she would give them away as, as gifts. Everybody loved them. They always wanted one of these. All right, let me just make sure I get all the glitter off. He's getting a little upset about all the glitter. <laughs> He's finding glitter everywhere. I made dinner the other night, and he asked if the glitter was free. So he had glitter on his steak. He ate it. All right, here it is. So I get a lot of um, I get a lot of deliveries from Chewy. It's an, and I'm not sponsored by Chewy, but I love Chewy. They deliver all my cat food, and I've got all these boxes that I don't know what to do. So uh, let's see if I can bring this in a little bit so you can see this. Um, get that light just right. Yeah. I'm not really fond of this lighting and it's daylight out right now. So, let's just, if you can see this. Oh, all right, there, you got it. So, I made a box out of a chewy box, just a regular chewy box. And it's, um, I'm making this for my mystery, my mystery box, sort of. You know the shoes that I had? Um, I'm going to put the jewelry in this and matching jewelry and some other things as like a mystery gift. So, I'm selling the shoes. They're going on auction with the purse. And whatever's in here will be the mystery. And it's really nice. The beads, I still got to tack down some. But I took um, that last jewelry jar, that thing that I put on my ear and I didn't know what it was. I just picked all the stones off it and I glued it on there with a couple of these taupe multifaceted beads that uh, you get in the jewelry jars. Sort of like a Mardi Gras bead, but, bead, but prettier. And it's still kind of... What am I dropping? I'm dropping everything. So this is the inside. This is the inside of the box, if I can get that, if you can see that. All right. What I did was, uh, this is all painted on with glue, paper, and um, <laughs> be quiet. Shh. It's Murphy. Um, I put glue and sparkles in the glitter, and then I made a nice little box um, with Murphy, honey, shush, stop, you ate. That's all he wants to do is eat these days. He's 16 years old. He doesn't like the four cats next door. He gets very, very jealous. So this was a chewy box. This was just 
a paper that I got at Walmart, um, scrapbooking paper, and the black around the edges, the black right here. Let's see if you can. Oh, there you go. You get to see pick up that blue. See that? The glue and the glitter. Isn't that pretty? Um, this is wrapping paper that you get with gifts. That you like, you know, that very thin wrapping paper. If you break it apart in small little pieces and then keep gluing it and gluing it and gluing it it literally has this look i don't know if you can see of almost like a full leather type of look and it's really pretty my mother called these the upside down cakes because the top is bigger and it looks like if you put it upside down it looks like a little cake and of course i've got to work on it i still got a mod podge it but Lovely little box. So this thing cost me, because I consider the box free, even though it's part of the shipping handling, if I'm going to toss it, it's a free item. Uh, the paper right here, you get 25 sheets for $5 of different designs. So that works out to 20 cents a piece. Um, the necklace came in a jewelry jar. Uh, so I don't know how you would determine. Probably 20 cents for the necklace. And then... It's under a dollar. Under a dollar to make a box. A really pretty box. It's adorable. So I'm going to put the jewelry in that. It's going to be the shoes. Alright. So let's set that aside. Alright. So there's something I wanted to show you guys. Remember I was talking about I'm going to do my first mystery bag giveaway um, when I get enough subscribers. And I'm hoping to get some. I don't want to be YouTube famous. I just want the things that I do um, to help people so that they uh, are bored or just need something to distract them that they can make stuff. You don't need to have a lot of money to make things from the stuff you throw away. And it's a good part of depression. Like I said a few weeks ago, I was in a deep depression and first step is to do something the opposite that you did the day before and so it was getting out of bed was my first step. Yay, did it. And then I, it was New Year's Eve when I got that pep talk from Joan. So then my second step was do something outside your comfort zone that you will like. And this is stuff that I had learned for years in therapy. I can't go to therapy right now. So I have to be my own therapist. So doing this, just doing DIYs and um, hopefully making a few dollars on mystery bags. Because at Christmas time, my mother used to give us mystery bags. It was awesome. And we never, you know, soap and shampoo and jewelry and just all makeup and just all those things that, you know, we always want to get ourselves, but we're too busy. I'm just moving this so I can show you the purse that I was talking about. All right. Get that out of the way. Oh, my thing is coming down. All right. Let me just move a few of these things. I'll be right back with you. So those mystery bags were the funnest thing ever. And even as adults, we still did them. And we all get our little mystery bags together. And we just loved it. So I thought, why not bring some of that love into somebody's life? And it's fun. It's something that you can do. Uh, a lot of handmade gifts went in them. We were really big on handmade items growing up. So, all right. So I have a purse that I brought to um, a couple women down in Wyndham. They, were, they own a pawn shop. One said it was a coach bag and the other one said it wasn't. And I am not comfortable selling something that is not a coach bag and since I don't know I thought well why don't I just give it away as a mystery gift if you don't like if you find out it's not you know a coach bag you can use it as a computer bag I used it when I went to visit someone a year ago for um, a computer bag so it still has it still has the the wrap on it. It, ha it says coach right here and I don't think, I think I can zoom here. See it says coach right there. Um, I'm getting glitter all over it. Uh, 
it has the little coach thing here and the coach on the inside here's the thing that makes me think it's not coach it does not have a serial number it does not have a serial number at all so oh and they were asking twenty dollars for it and, and I've asked them not to do this but they do it anyways they got two X's on the inside which is Roman numeral for twenty dollars so the, they do that so if people try to take the price tag off they'll they'll know how much it is and I understand that it's got a slight stain here like a dark uh, can you see that yeah you can see it dark stain maybe it was in somebody's closet um, don't smell like a closet so that's going to be my first giveaway i'm going to have an outfit a pair of shoes some jewelry and some other whatnot items just as a mystery bag and uh hopefully if i can get the five 500 subscribers actually i'll be happy with 250 right now because what i'm hoping is when i have a mystery bag and i'm going to be putting it up for auction on ebay uh that if you know someone that needs an outfit, you sort of share my video and say, check this out. You love you love that type of bag or whatever. And just kind of get the word out. That's basically what I'm doing to spread joy, to help with my depression. Um, I'm hoping to show people how to get out of depression because I'm going into chat rooms and I'm just seeing all kinds of people who are just down and depressed and and I'm been my it's been my whole life, but I'm not medicated. I've always chosen not to be medicated uh, to work with my depression. And normally I do very well, but this past year has just been a nightmare. So I'm coming up on my 30 minutes. Uh, I didn't want to go too long. I will be doing a video on how to make this box. I'm going to be doing it out of a cereal box, smaller, for the for the blue the blue um, little wreath that I had showed you I'm gonna make a box for it and then I have this blue Avon vintage necklace that's going on eBay for $23 and I'll probably just auction that off for $20 um, the box the wreath and the necklace just something you know cute so that's it thank you for joining me and subscribe if you want to uh, hit the little like button I think somewhere on the like button yeah it'd be on this side on this side one or the other anyway it's down there and my name is Kathy uh, it's a little joke between Bill and I when I met him he asked if it was spelt with a C or K and that's just a question that really bugs me because unless it's for medical or your birth certificate or say um, an arrest record you really it doesn't matter if it's with a C or a K as I'll pronounce the name so he thought it'd be funny if I spelt it with an S sort of like who's on first type of thing um, so that if I said is Kathy when someone said is it Kathy spelt with a C I'd say S and they'd say what do you mean S and I'd say it's spelt with a C S E A C so Kathy with a C take away the C put the S E A N which spells C and it's Kathy spelled with a S-E-A-C. I know, it's stupid. But it's just like a little joke with us. And um, at one time I had commented on a political thing. And I had some guy, because I had my real name up on, on YouTube. And some guy literally stopped me from channel to channel. It's like he knew, uh, knew the type of channels that I visited, which I go to the news channels a lot. And he was just being horrible, and I kept reporting him, and I just went in and changed it to S-E-A-A-T-H-Y, which is really just Kathy, spelled with an S, spelled with a C. So that's the whole Kathy with a C thing. Well, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. I appreciate the views. I love the chats. I love the auctions. Uh, oh, I love the people in, in the chat rooms or in the auctions. They're really nice. I went to join Selena and she had such the most wonderful group of people they were all very kind and they were very nice and uh they're very they're very cordial to one another and there's none of this is you know there's no one in there that's pay attention to me 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 they all really share the time so i really like that a lot uh, i did follow someone i did stop watching lives for a while because there was just one person and it seemed like in a lot of them that was just 
constantly her brother died, her dog died, her car blew up. <laughs> and those are just exaggerated examples. But it was always something going on with this person. And uh, it was taking attention away from the person's video. And I just had a hard time with that because I have a lot of people in my life like that. So um, my whole family is basically very narcissistic. And so anyway, I try to just keep away from people like that. I'm going to feed that cat or he's going to just probably attack me. All right, so thank you for joining. Love you guys, and I hope you subscribe, and hope you enjoy my channels. And I do have a jewelry bag coming, and I have a thread-up bag, by the way. I ordered that on January 31st, and they I got in touch with them. They said, well, due to the high demand, it's going to be a while. Um, and then I'm hearing that people are not getting a full 10 pounds. They're only getting 6 pounds. Margaret on Texas Gal Treasures got 6 pounds, so weigh your boxes. I will get that, and I'm also going to do a Stitch Fit uh, video, which if you haven't heard from Stitch Fit, Stitch Fit, it's like thread up, but the clothes are better and a and, uh, little more affordable, and the design is really know how to design. Uh, well, I mean the people who pick out the clothes for you, I guess. Stylist is what they're called, sorry. So I'll probably do that and just show you what they look like. Won't keep them. I'll send them back. But just a video on that. So thank you so much. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.